Let's let the sirens pass and let's not complain about it because we are happy and healthy. Someone else isn't. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. My name is Jenny Day and today we're going we are going to be doing a Louis Vuitton unboxing. I can I haven't been able to say that for like the past five times, but whatever. We are here. So um it comes in this beautiful orange box. It's so cute. Uh, this is the huge bag that it came in and I'm going to let my cat play with it because she loves it but always, always remove the straps first because you don't want your cat to choke or get stuck in it or anything. I mean, it's the loop is pretty big but I still would recommend to cut them off first. She's right here. She's like dying to get in this bag. Louie. Her name's not Louie like Louis Vuitton. Her name's Luna but we call her Louie. Um, so that's also what's on her like name tag, whatever. So before we get started, I do want to say that I am very grateful that I am able to have things like this. Um, my boyfriend did buy this for me for Christmas. Um, he was originally going to give me like a bunch of gift certificates or gift cards to um, different places on Rodeo, like two or three hundred, but I just told him, you know what, I only want one thing and what he was going to get me was more than what I had chosen. So um, I told him, you know what, I just, I just really want a bag. So um, yeah, I needed something bigger than the Alma. If you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I do have an Alma BB and I do have a Never GM both in demi event print that is my favorite print so um yeah I do have the uh receipt here I picked it up uh I picked it up at the uh Rodeo Drive location the closest location to me is Santa Monica but um their tax is a lot more than Rodeo I think it's like almost 10% more so I prefer to go to Rodeo as opposed to Santa Monica even though that was the one that's closest to me so anyway let's go ahead and open this shall we <laughs> okay so I'm going to pull the ribbon so cute. Let me take a picture of it first, actually. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and open it because I wasn't able to get like a good photo. So, um, yeah, I think I'm in frame. I think everything looks good. By the way, I get I do get a lot of questions about my necklace. It is from David Yearman. It's from their um, Chantelay Chantelion. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's from a collection that they have. This is a Morganite. Um, stone and it is with Pave diamonds so you guys can just look it up um, if you want to I don't really care so yeah this is what this looks like and I got this last year for um, did I get it for my birthday it wasn't really for my birthday it was just like a gift that my boyfriend gave me but um, yeah anyway so let's go ahead and just unravel it just the ribbon there and then I'm gonna go ahead and open it I did ask the woman to stuff it but I do have a small pillow okay I just turned the brightness down a little bit and there were sirens going by so yeah I did ask the girl to stuff it but I think she stuffed it just with tissue so I am going to stuff it with my pillow I do have a little Dexiana pillow that's like a travel pillow and it fits perfectly in here so that's what I'm gonna use it for so this is my bag here I can can I be vain and just like put the box here? Yes. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this is what my bag comes in. And this is what it is. It is a Speedy 25 in Demi Van. And it's the Vandalier version. So yeah, you can see that. And then 25 is under here. So let me see. I asked her to like, I wanted her to put like a pillow or like some bubble stuff in it and she literally just put tissue paper. Okay. So we're gonna just take that out, throw it away. My cat plays with everything, so that's great. Um, and then it comes with the three straps here. There's scratches on it, which means that um, it's not brand new. Let me see if I can just wipe it off. Let me inspect this further because I, I just looked at it really quick in stores because there was just so many people there. Um, so this is what the bag looks like. I don't, oh, it's like so floppy. Um, I think I am going to get a bag organizer for it. So we shall see. I actually want to compare it to my, um, let's compare the color to my Alma BB because 
Um, there are seven shades of Damia Ben print, and I want to make sure that this one matches. I literally almost fell. You almost fell. So I wanted to compare the shade with my Alma BB. I'm just going to remove the strap from here because it's like just irritating me. I don't really like this bag as a crossbody or anything. I like it more as like a handheld bag. So yeah. Okay, so can you guys see the difference between the two shades? One of them looks like more peanut buttery. The other one looks a lot darker. Why do you do that? Um, yeah, I prefer this color a lot more because it just looks more like classic and really elegant and this just looks like an ugly peanut buttery like it's just it just looks ugly and cheap like this lighter color so this this bag literally looks fake because of that I feel like I don't like the darker the lighter color um it was let me see it is made in France. I prefer my pieces to either be made in France or made in the USA. It's just my preference. Um, but yeah, it, oh, I got my lipstick on it. But yeah, it just, this color just like, why? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. My cat is literally chewing on my strap. It's a little bit like more clear. I don't, okay, let me see. Um... I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Louis Vuitton stamp is a little bit more clear on this bag than it is on this Alma. But um, I did show you guys, like me, did I show you? No. I didn't actually, but I did exchange this in New York and I have my receipt and everything. Um, I just, I really just love this darker color a lot more, so, whoa, literally, literally what the fuck. I don't know. Um, this was just like a place and cart item, actually. It's not something that I had to wait for. So I kind of want to return it and like see if I can try my luck with a new one. Isn't that just it's so weird? And it has a little bit of wrinkling under the strap. So it feels fine, though. It's like not something that's going to completely bother me because my Alma also ha has a little bit of wrinkling under the strap. But um yeah, does this not look like so fake? Straight up a replica. I don't know if, um, okay, so this didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Wow, I thought that it was definitely going to be like a wow moment for me. I was really looking forward to getting this bag because I did need something a little bit bigger than my, than my Alma, but smaller than my Neverfull, so yeah. Um, so this is what it looks like with the strap. Let me see if I can try it on. Ugh. It hits at a nice place for, um, for like being a, sh this is what it looks like on a shoulder. And then your crossbody. I don't know. I'm not really happy about this bag. Um, what I think I'm going to do is order another one on the Louis Vuitton website because they are all just place and cart items as far as like the canvas pieces. A lot of them are just place and cart. So what I think I'm going to do is um, end up purchasing it and have it delivered to my house. And then I will just go ahead and return this one if the other one is the shade that I want, which I am hoping that it is. And more than likely, they're all going to be made in France because you are ordering them and they are getting shipped to the U.S. or... Um, I don't know, I guess like it, sometimes it might not be made in France, but um, as far as like the luck that I've had, all the pieces that I've looked at have been made in France. So um, yeah, I really don't care as long as it's like made in the USA or made in France. I really, like as long as it's either one of those, then I'm okay. But um, yeah, I like it because I like the size of it. It looks like a nice like little tiny luggage bag, which is exactly what it is. What are you doing? Oh my god, my cat is going ape shit, but yeah. And then these things are, I don't, I don't know, it just looks so fake. I don't like this whole peanut buttery creamy look. Um, you can even tell the difference from like afar. <laughs> what the fuck? I just don't, I just don't like that. I mean, they're all going to be different colors just because these are painted. Um, 
these are painted, but I don't know. Um, found a flaw. <laughs> As always, it's just me. So I don't know if you guys can see. Let me zoom you in. Um, do you guys see like how messed up? Oh, I, how this side is like really nice and just finished really nicely. And then this side has a bunch of like little little pulls here all along the edge. Can you see, is that picking up on camera? So I came behind the camera to actually show you guys just so you can see what I am talking about. But do you see how this is like all like a raw edge? Looks like it was like tugged. Um, it looks like it was tugged on something and this side looks like perfect. How would I like get rid of that? And it's like the leather, the leather is like, look at how, how like fake this color looks. Okay. Anyway, but oh yeah, you guys might be able to see it better right here. Okay. There we go. So look, do you see this? Let me know if you would return it because of that. Cause look, it's like making it look like already, I don't know. It just looks like, oh, this fucking color just looks so cheap. Um, I don't even know if you guys knew this, but the Alma BB that I had before where the stitches popped, um, the one that I got in Amsterdam, I ended up returning that in New York because um, in New York they had a darker demi event, which was this little beauty here. Um, they had this one and I was like, oh, that color looks a lot better, it looks classier, and it doesn't look cheap or fake or anything, whereas this lighter color makes it look a lot like more fake and just like, just makes it look like a replica and um, I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna keep this guys <laughs> this wasn't uh, this didn't turn out how I thought I really thought like I was gonna enjoy it um, let me know if you would also like return it or exchange it for this like raw edge here because it like I don't know it makes like the leather l literally looks like it's just messed up like it doesn't look like a nice finished like seam it just looks really messy um i don't know what the date code for this is let me check oh it also comes with like that with the zipper and everything the zipper's nice um the date code is ct41686 so what is that? I don't. I can't do math on this thing. Forty six. So it was made in the week of November twelfth to the eighteenth. So what is that like? A little over a month ago. Also, the reason why I picked this one, I really wanted the Montaigne BB or the Monster backpack, which I will probably get the Monster backpack on my own. Um, I really wanted the backpack because I thought it would be really good for traveling, but my boyfriend hates anything with the Vachetta on it, and. Um, that really sucks because I have a Neverfull, a new Neverfull that I'm going to unbox that you guys will probably see within the next week that is um, a piece that has the Vachetta on it. So um, when he told me to pick something out, I showed him other things that I really liked and I really liked the Montaigne BB, just the OG like uh, monogram one. And he said that he didn't like it because of the white, that's why he calls it the white, the untreated leather. And I also showed him, um, what else? Um, I showed him a few other pieces um, and he just like didn't like it. He really liked how low-key um, this brown like Damien Ben print is and he liked that it doesn't scream Louis Vuitton but if you know Louis Vuitton then you would know that this is Louis Vuitton obviously. That's why he really wanted me to pick a Damien Ben print but the thing is there, not, there wasn't a lot of like pieces that I liked with the Damien Ben print so it just a lot of them looked a lot better in monogram and it's just how it is sometimes but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be like a louis vuitton whore now but i guess we'll see but yeah uh so i will show you guys the unboxing of the other one i will update you guys on whether or not i end up returning this because i really have to get over the color first um i will have to see it in sunlight this is my first time actually seeing it in person well actually i looked at it in the store but then uh this is my first time like seeing it 
like face to face like this close and actually looking at it and stuff um but i do think that i do think that i will have to look at it in daylight of course and i will have to just keep in mind that even if i get another one it probably won't be the shade that i want it to be and i just have to kind of like you know settle for it or whatever but i do want to get it hot stamped because this is going to be a like forever bag i do not think that i'm gonna resell this because my boyfriend did gift it to me but um we'll see first if i keep this one so yeah Ugh! i don't like the color of it but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i will be using this bag or i will just like i will have to look at it in daylight tomorrow actually just to kind of make sure that it's what i want that i'm really certain that um you know that is a piece that i decide to keep um yeah, I could literally just buy another one right now and do it online and then pick it up again or just have it delivered to my house. I'm not really sure, but I love my Alma BB and this is like my forever baby. I ha literally have the same, the same shit in here. But uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I am not really sure what I'm going to do yet at this moment. So I will update you guys as the weeks go on. I only have 30 days to decide so I do have to do that very quickly. I also had a question about someone asking me um, if my luxury items go on credit cards and no they don't. Um, I will never pay for something or buy something with a card that I can't just pay for cash in hand. So um, I just think that's the best way to go. I will never put myself in debt for any bag for any person for nothing like I, I will not do it yeah I only pay for my reoccurring bills with my credit card and then I pay it off right after but yeah that's about it um, I don't recommend putting your luxury items on credit cards just because it's not the smart thing to do if you can't pay for it in cash then uh, don't buy it at all so except for a car obviously because people finance those but anyway that's all that I have for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it um, I guess I should put her up here Someone's going to be like, no one wants a speedy that you just threw around in your room. You're probably right, but it's fine. So, <laughs> I'm just mad. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed once again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!